okay to use club a lot of you ask me am i pregnant did i have another baby no but i do have another baby for my kitchen it's this indoor grilling oven look at this it opens right up making it easy for us to place our al pastor and party for the weekend but i understand some of you might not want this amazing chamber of the future so we're gonna close it up and i do recommend that you use the little tray that goes in the oven looks like this but what I really want to know is who's going to clean up your oven after you use this one. A balanced meal for the young at heart. It's no wonder this is the most popular taco around the world. Since this marinade works great with pork or chicken, I love using it for meal prep and parties. Every family has their own version of this recipe. Here's how I make mine. You'll need guajillo, ancho, pasilla, chipotle, achote paste, bay leaves, Mexican oregano, ground cumin, salt, ginger powder, a small piece of cinnamon, orange pepper, garlic, oil, apple cider vinegar, a mixture of orange and pineapple juice, and if you want a spicier marinade, add some chiles de arbol. And the key ingredient in al pastor adobo is ground allspice. You want to make sure to add a lot of it. I'm a big fan of al pastor tacos. But one thing that happens when I go to the grocery store is that I'm looking for pasilla and I'm looking for ancho chile and depending on the grocery store, I won't be able to find them or I find them both combined in a bag. So I'm gonna show you how to tell which chile is which. The pasilla is a dried chilaca pepper. It's long, narrow, wrinkly, and mild with a little sweet, earthy, rustic flavor. The ancho is a dried poblano pepper, smaller, wider, and mild with a slightly bitter plum raisin undertone. So you want to use peppers you have access to because some of you might not even find your ancho or your pasilla pepper and I don't want you to worry, you can continue with this recipe with your guajillo chiles. I placed my burner on a medium heat because we're going to be roasting a few of our ingredients to bring out the essence and the flavor. Within 30 seconds, the chiles will begin releasing their fragrance and that's when you want to flip them over. Guajillo chiles will be the first ones to come off the pan. As for the pasilla and the ancho, remove them once they're soft and pliable. In less than five seconds, you can toast cinnamon, bay leaves, and allspice. Lastly, the garlic will require about a minute. While the chiles are warm, start removing the stem and as many of the seeds as you can. And when you have chili fingers, the last thing you wanna do is rub your eyes, so be careful. Add all roasted ingredients to the blender along with ground allspice, achote paste, Mexican oregano, ginger powder, orange pepper, salt, orange pineapple juice mixture, oil, and you're gonna blend until smooth. And boom, done. You'll need sliced onions to add even more layers of flavor to your marinade and your tacos. I slice a piece off the top of the pork shoulder. Then I do my best to butterfly thick and thin slices to add a variety of textures to the al pastor. Remember, you're not a machine. It's not perfect, but it's good enough, corazón. You got this. This next step is important to maximize the flavor. Add two cups of apple cider vinegar, and while gently mixing, start adding one and a half tablespoons of sea salt. Make sure to gently mix and coat each piece of pork with adobo sauce. and you're just gonna keep mixing your ingredients gently until every single piece of your pork is covered. Next, you can start layering the spit. To add support, take the bottom piece of the pineapple and slide it down. The first bottom piece of pork should be a thicker one to provide extra support. Then you wanna start arranging the cuts, sliding down from one side to the other, adding slices of onions in between. It's important to press down as you build for a better outcome when slicing. Some of the pieces that are big, you can easily cut and adjust. Once you're done layering, you want to cover with plastic. For best flavor, marinate for 48 hours, and when you're ready, unwrap your gift. 
You can easily dispose of the liquid at the bottom. To make traditional al pastor, you want to place a big chunk of pineapple at the top. I find the grilling oven super easy to use. All you have to do is insert the bottom and attach the top hook. Set the grilling oven on fast and you'll be able to start slicing your first layer of al pastor in one and a half hours. In the meantime, you can prep your salsa and your guacamole. Red tomatillo salsa is the best salsa for traditional al pastor tacos. Here's how I like to make mine. I boil tomatillos, garlic, and onion until they're soft. Then I add them to the blender with about 20 chiles de árbol, two tablespoons of salt, and I blend for about 30 seconds until they're nice and smooth. And boom, done. I find a simple guacamole is a perfect soft texture to bring the taco home. I take three ripe avocados, sprinkle the juice of a lime, a little salt, and mash them until they're nice and soft. After 30 minutes, you'll start to smell the al pastor and your stomach might start grumbling. Be strong and hang tight as the pork needs more time to cook and char. What you can do instead is coat it with a little oil, close the door until you're ready to start slicing. You'll wanna start trimming the charred outer layer. And as you prep your first set of tacos, you can continue the rotation to char more pieces so everyone can enjoy the burnt ends. Top with chopped onions and cilantro, spicy salsa, a piece of pineapple, guacamole, and some lime. Now I'm gonna need somebody very special to say ah. Uh, Al pastor tastes great with pineapple flavored drinks, but I always have horchata handy in case someone can't handle the heat. Just a little refreshing drink to wash down some more tacos. It's done? Wow. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you and let us know if you like agua fresca or a soda with your al pastor tacos. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.